You know what would suck? Like if I crashed on like the second video. <laughs> <sighs> All right, you guys just saw the crash video. Um, I was gonna get video from like the hospital and stuff, but uh, I did not feel like it. Uh, so as you can see, I broke my arm from that crash. Um, which means no riding for a month, maybe a month and a half, two months. Um. The bike is, uh, it's somewhat alright. I'm gonna pull it out. We're gonna clean it off, and then I'll show you what uh, damage was done, which isn't a lot. So yeah, let me pull it out. <sighs> Hopefully, no one's stealing my bike while I'm doing this. <clears throat> oh great! I gotta get the hose up there. If I have to come back here, I'm going to be really mad. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, Zach rides, the guy in front of me. He left his bike here because his clutch lever broke right after we ended that video. Uh, so he's, he's, he's got to fix that, but... Anyways, let's see if we can get this back out here. So I know I'm going to probably get a lot of hate for not covering up the exhaust and everything. I don't have stuff to cover the exhaust up, so we'll just not spray it, I guess. Alright, so most people do all their tricks to get all the water out. Uh, best way for me usually is just to run it and let it all evaporate. I'm sure that's not the right way. Um, but that's what we're going to do. Because I do not have time to dry out all the stuff. This bike, I actually have, actually yeah, someone rode this bike back after I crashed. Should be in neutral. Yeah, we're pretty much dry, so let's, uh, let's wait, we'll turn the fuel off and wait for that to go off, and then we'll, uh, show you, because I don't want to leave fuel in the car. Later, we gotta put some, I got some, uh, uh, let's see, I got some of this to put in it, so we'll put that in later, some stable, just so the carb doesn't get gummed up later, since we won't be riding for a little bit. Alright, so let's look at the damages to the bike. Let's start from the back. Nothing as far as I know back here. Everything looks good. Nothing bent there. It's all good. This side, perfectly fine. Didn't even bend this. That was already like that. Uh, the bars, I think, might be a little bent this way, which wouldn't surprise me. Uh, this side, the Bark Buster is just, uh, it's probably fixable, but it got beat up, bent pretty bad, so, I'll have to look at that, at least my clutch lever didn't get bent, uh, here's where we have most of the damage, uh, the wheel, as you can see, is, if this, this is straight, the wheel is pointing that way, so, what it, it looks like to me, and I really hope it's this because this would be 
close to like no money is that this these parts just this part just came forward a little bit and the other side went back which would cause which would cause it to do that i'm hoping that um th i mean these are they look straight to me i have to check them the suspension works just fine uh the wheel uh i mean the rims aren't bent someone wrote it back and said it was perfectly fine uh so I'm really hoping that uh, that's all is just loosen this stuff up and move this side back a little bit because that would be a really cheap easy fix if not new forks all that stuff I don't know if I would keep the bike I would probably sell it for pretty cheap or not pretty cheap but I don't know we'll have to see I can't afford new forks right now though so I mean, that's really all the damage. It starts, all the suspension works. I mean, the wheels, they were already pretty ruined. I mean, they're they're super flat. They're not flat. They're just almost out of tread. As you, you can see on this side, which is where I hit the, uh, like, mound of, like, rocks, all the tread is, like, torn off. Just torn off there. I'm not even going to try to fix these voice cracks because that's too annoying. Uh, I mean, my, uh, brake discs aren't warped. S uh, everything on the back's good. Uh, that's really all the damage to the bike, which could either be free and maybe, maybe an hour most of my time. Uh, that's not if I, I would have to change the wheels already anyways, but I'm waiting to see if I need dual sport tires or not. Uh, so it's really, it could either be... A free fix, loosening that and moving that, and just checking that out, and then, or it could be completely having to replace the forks. Uh, I probably wouldn't get a new bar. It's pretty close. I'd probably not get a new bar. So yeah, it could probably. I don't know how much forks cost for this bike. I probably wouldn't even. I wouldn't get any good ones. But yeah, so hopefully, I will be riding in the six to eight weeks that this is supposed to take. Uh, I will put, um, I don't know, I'll find some pictures to put up while I'm talking for this last few parts here. Uh, just of, I don't know, I think my friend might have a video of me riding on the back of his dad's 450 on the way back. Um, I'll put up a picture of my x-ray. And, I don't know, any other pictures I'll put up during this time while I'm talking. Uh... Yeah, so let's move the bike in real quickly here. Yeah, I'll do a video of me fixing it. Um, you know, fixing it, checking it out. If I have to take it somewhere, I'll have a video on that. Hopefully I don't have to take it somewhere. Uh, my neighbor has a KTM, I think, 250. Uh, he's pretty good with fixing stuff, so I'll probably bring it over to him and see what he thinks. But, uh, yeah, so I might only have, like, one or two videos in the next month, month and a half. Uh, but yeah, one, once this cast comes off, we're gonna, we'll be riding m uh, quite a bit to make up for lost time. So, yeah, uh, I know I've said this already like three times, but I'm going to end the video here, guys. Uh, I'm going to go have something to eat. Um, yeah, I'll have this up probably by Sunday, but I don't know. Don't hold me to that. All right, bye, guys.